Hello. Um, as just mentioned, my name is Matt Johnson. I am the uh, CEO of QCWare. We're a, a quantum computing software company based in Palo Alto and about to open our European office in Paris. And uh, we're really, really happy that you could be here today. Um, and it's going to be a very, very exciting uh, next couple of days. So what I wanted to do just as an introduction to set the stage for the boot camp is kind of give you a little bit of a preamble. So first of all, it is a three-day conference. And last year when we did this conference the first time, we also had a boot camp because we anticipated there might be some interest in some basic training, some basic instruction on quantum computing as a technology. So we were thinking there would be 25 or 30 people that were going to attend. And in fact, we had 100 people jammed into kind of a constrained space. So this year, we thought for the boot camp, which again is kind of the preliminary day, we might see 120, 140 people. And we're really happy that I think we had over 250 registrations, which says a lot about the demand in the broad enterprise community to understand the basics of quantum computing. So our team has done a lot of work today to try to break down this technology into bite-sized chunks and, and understandable chunks. So obviously the mission of Q2B, and it is a quite unique mission, it's to accelerate the development of quantum computing algorithms and applications, but to do that in a really condensed way and to bring all the stakeholders that can contribute to that goal together in one room for a couple of days per year, and then to have them carry on with that work off-site. So it's really pleasing. Now, the, the stakeholders in this case are all of the commercial enterprises and government agencies that will be the heavy duty users of this technology because they use a lot of HPC resources. It's the quantum computing hardware development groups that are building these machines that are going to support those applications. And very, very importantly, it's this community of researchers from laboratories, government and private labs, and universities that have developed algorithms which are kind of the nervous system that these applications are built around and that control the operations of the, uh, of the hardware. So we're, um, we're really happy that we can play a part in pulling that together. Now, for today, there are a couple of themes that are consistent about this boot camp that were true last year, they're true this year, and they'll be true every year. The first thing that we want to do with our team for you is describe what are truly the ground truths to develop a common understanding of the facts around what this technology resource can do and what the outlook is um, for it in the near term. So there are, in fact, there is a type of problem, some types of problems that can be accelerated or solved more efficiently with quantum processors, and there are a whole lot of other problems that cannot be. That's important to note. It's also important to note that the hardware that these problems are running on is increasing in processing power, but it is not currently at a state where you as an enterprise could get any kind of a wow factor for any of your mission critical problems. You should be undaunted by that, but you should understand what the outlook is for that to change. Secondly, what's really important to understand, and this is what we'll spend a bit of time on today, a quantum processor, just like a classical processor, there are physical things that are happening at the physical layer. There are things that are harnessed, there are things that are used to execute the operation of a, of a problem uh, on, that, on that hardware. And we're going to spend some time today demystifying that and explaining that, in fact, this does work. There are, there's a user community, an ever-growing user community, that's, that's using this resource. In order to whet your appetite to give you a feel for the types of problems that are currently being explored that are running on these early generation hardware platforms, we are going to spend some time with some problem archetypes, some real world problems that have been developed where we have quantum representations for them and, and we're executing those problems on these early generation machines. And most importantly, in the afternoon session, three of the leading hardware developers, that's IBM, Google, and Microsoft are going to have sessions where they're going to describe their commercial dev kits. So these are the kits that abstract away a lot of the complexity of quantum programming and processing and allow classically trained developers, data scientists, engineers to use, to use these systems without needing to know about quantum programming and processing. 
Our goal, our hope for, for today is that each of you, particularly the people in enterprises or government agencies, can take this bit of information that you'll receive today and start thinking about inside of your organization where there could be potential use cases for you to explore. So I am personally really, really proud of QCWare's team. And I think we have perhaps the largest team that is focused solely on using quantum information to develop real-world applications that run on non-error-corrected or noisy quantum computers. Those are the types of machines that we will have available over the next few years. And everyone on our team is converging to do that. And importantly, many of the people whose faces and names you see on this slide are going to be presenting to you today. So what you're going to be hearing from, or who you're going to be hearing from, are practitioners in our company who are developing algorithms and applications who will be taking these pieces of what they do and breaking it down and, and describing it. And also importantly, all of the people on these slides are going to be wandering around the museum for the next three days. And I would really encourage you to just engage them in conversation and, and drill more on technical questions that you might have. For q to b and for the boot camp in general, there is this very broad cross-section of attendees. And just this kind of a highlight, I think we're up to like 375 attendees now, which is quite, quite good. I think last year we had 250 attendees. So this demonstrates an increased and substantial growth in the awareness of quantum computing and an interest in quantum computing. For me, the most important elements of this slide are the number of government agencies and enterprises that are attending because that's really the group that comes with problems that need to be solved. And without that ingredient, we're really going to be developing notional or potential applications in a partial vacuum, and we don't want to do that. So having said all of that, I just want to wish you a, uh, a great boot camp, and I look forward to talking to all of you over the next uh, couple of days. So thank you very much.